Right, we've had several people asking about have we used the dyno yet? Um, have we got a car on it? Yep, we have had a few cars on it. Um, I've been putting off making the video based on the fact that so far every car that's been on here has uh, been a petrol, which is a bit of a fail. So we've just actually basically put the Audi back together purely just to get a diesel video. Um, we had issues with the Audi in that the uh, pump shot itself a while ago, 12 more head seized. Um, so I've had to rebuild that and we had a few teething issues um, so it's not haven't been opened up at all yet um, the pump in fact I haven't really ran it yet um, it's just been put on it hasn't been out this workshop since it's been put back together so, so. see um, I've just bolted the extractor on the wall which is kind of the next little phase I'm working on at the moment um, we've had a few cars in here now um, and obviously it's not really a great idea having cars in here running at all let alone on load with no exhaust extraction and um, a pipe out the window is certainly not really adequate it was good enough to test it but um we did actually have a gas analyzer in here while we were doing it and um the carbon monoxide levels although sort of remain safe do start to creep up um so we definitely want to get this exhaust extraction sorted asap so that we don't have to worry about that and um, we have actually fitted a gas um carbon monoxide and a various other thing alarm on the wall um just it's a monitor and an alarm just in case we do have any th any issues so we've bolted it to the wall basically with some fire cement between to seal it up um, so it shoots at the back of the wall um, and then obviously we'll have an intake pipe on the side here a flexible steel or aluminium tube which will then be hooked up to the vehicle slightly bigger VFD for this one it's a, it's a larger motor um, so I just need to wire strip this one back and wire this in uh, get the 240 side of it wired in and then we'll be able to test it out okay in the previous video I showed the extractor fan that we're going to be using um, to extract the exhaust fumes. I've got that all wired up now. Um, I've had a few people asking about these VFDs, uh, what they're for and how they work. Um, well, how they work is quite technical and to be honest with you, I don't fully understand myself, although I've got a fairly good idea. Um, but that's fairly irrelevant anyway. Basically, the reason we're running these, um, here on the farm, we've only got single phase electricity. Uh, so 240 volt single phase here in the UK. Um, now, Obviously we could have three phase installed but it'll cost a lot of money and we don't really have much need for it. Um, it would certainly cost a lot more to do than what we could ever justify. Um, so the, for the few three phase applications we use these uh, variable frequency drives. Um, now we've got two different ones here, they look different. They're both Chinese um, Huangyang units, they're fairly generic, they're the ones you see on eBay. Um, I know several people that have ran them, um, they seem to work okay, they don't seem to give a lot of trouble. Um, they're a lot cheaper obviously than the mainstream expensive stuff so we'll see how they last really um, I was told to try and overrate them and then they'll probably find they're fine so we've got a two and a half kilowatt one on the right that's running the water pump and a four kilowatt one on the left that's running the fan okay so the wiring inside um, is near enough the same on both so you've got 220 in on the left hand terminals um, the wiring here is, is temporary at the minute um, I need to sort this out and tidy it up but we're just testing it at the moment both are identical uh, you've got 220 coming in, and then you've got your three phases, U, V and W on the uh, end there. The, the 220 is marked R, S and T, so you use R and S, so just your live and the neutral, normal 240, um, and the, the end terminals for that. Um, you've got lots of control terminals at the top here, this is all 12, 24 volt control. Um, you can tell it to start, you can tell it to stop, and you can adjust the frequency, and basically adjusting the frequency um, adjusts the speed of the motor on a three phase motor. Um, so obviously 50 hertz here in the UK, that will give us the standard speed. Um, then you can obviously slow it down or speed it up um, within motor's tolerances. So we've got them both wired in now. This is both the idle screen. Um, in the long run, I'd like to be able to connect the control in, um, probably to the computer, so when you start a run, so for example, you, you turn the dyno on, it would ramp up to say, well, the water pump would ramp up because you want that running all the time. Um, you want the extractor maybe just sort of at 20, 25 hertz, just taking the exhaust away at idle, etc., but not making excessive noise and using power. And it would be quite cool if we could press the go button on the dyno to, to start a run and to automatically ramp the, uh, the VFD up to full power and then say like a 10 second after the run, then ramp back down to 20 hertz. Uh, but that's something in the future to look at. For a minute, I've just set each one up. Um, there's, I think there's like 200 and something configuration settings on these units. Um, they are Chinese, so you do have to sort of teach yourself. The manual is somewhat right and somewhat utter rubbish. Um, they are fairly simple to operate. You just keep, keep uh, tapping the program button, which will then take you into the... Pro oh, that one's actually locked. Hang on, we'll do this one. 
that will take you into the parameters. For example, we're on 143 there now. If I was to press set, it would tell you this is a two pole motor that was on four pole. Um, obviously, you need to set some basic stuff up like that to, if it's going to work. Um, I've basically set these now with a max frequency of 50 hertz, so that's standard. Um, they're both two pole motors, and I've put a three second ramp and a th up and ramp down on the water pump. It's only a small water pump. I've put a uh, four, five second ramp up on the sorry extractor fan, and it's an 11 second ramp down just so that it doesn't um, use excessive current to slow it down because it's a huge metal impeller and it takes a fair bit of stopping actually. By doing that, um, you can press the green button and the red button and they will start and stop all by themselves. That's just ramp. The water pump is now running as you can hear. Um, and then the same on the extractor fan. And then they come to a halt again. Right, so we've got it on the diner now. It's all strapped down, ready to rumble. Um, I actually did that last night. This is the next day. Um, it's freezing cold. I haven't had anything running yet. So I'm going to fire everything up and just leave it idling for a bit to warm up. And I'm going to have a tidy up because, as you can see, it's a bit of a bomb site in here after me frantically um, rushing around yesterday just trying to get this car back together. I haven't bothered with the front bumper. Um, there's still a bit of tidying up to do, but the whole it's mainly together there now. Um, so I'm going to fire everything up in a minute and have a clear up. So just hit that and purging through, and we'll turn the extractor on, which is now hooked up to the exhaust. And we'll see if the car will fire up, and we'll just leave it idle to warm up a bit. I'll